What's up everybody? This is Rafi at Zurb and I'm really excited about this video. So if you want to create a style guide for your website, then Foundation has a style guide generator built into the Zurb stack. So the component that it's using is called Style Sherpa. And Style Sherpa is a library where it'll grab all the CSS from your main project and pull it into a style guide. And we have a style guide generator built into the Zurb stack. So the reason a style guide is really important is because once you're done coding your project, you're going to need a way to maintain it down the road. So new developers, new designers come on board, they're gonna know, need to know what the base colors are. They're gonna need to know what shades they can use. They're gonna need to know what typography to use. They're gonna need to know how to build a certain component so that way a component is not repeated accidentally or extra code is added to the website or it's done incorrectly or, or um, not to the brand guidelines. So style guides are really important. Um, it's typically something that you could build along the way as you're building up your website or something that you'll uh, do at the end. We deliver every client project with a style guide um, so that way uh, the clients actually know how to take what we've given them and then extend upon it uh, later on down the line. So really important. So this is an example of the uh, Zurb style guide uh, and there's one built into foundation. So let me take, take you through what that looks like in a Zurb stack project. So we have a blank, brand new, fresh Zurb stack project here and we're going to hop over to the style guide. So if you go to slash style guide, you'll get to the style guide. And so you'll see that there's actually something here already. So we have a header section. This is where the name of your company or, or the company that you're creating this for would go. And then um, a short description of what this is. So. Um, right now, this is set up with some of the basics of Foundation, which is really helpful since you would be using Foundation to create this style guide. Uh, then some of the basics of the grid and nesting and usage is included here. And so you can you know, either take that out or leave that alone as you wish. Um, hopping down to colors, uh, you could show your color palette, the brand colors here. Um, these would actually pu pull from the settings file. So if you had created a custom color palette in the settings file, these would automatically be updated here in the style guide, along with all your typography settings, along with all your button styles. Everything that's custom will be pulled from the foundation uh, CSS and be brought over with Style Sherpa into the style guide. Um, so, and then every time you create a new section, it's going to create another header here in this um, side navigation. Now you could choose to make this side navigation uh, sticky using foundation sticky component. Let me show you how that is all set up. So if we hop into the code, so this is the Zurb stack project. I'm gonna open up the source file, which is where all your working files are. And then we're gonna open up the style guide folder. So the style guide folder is really a separate website altogether. We're using uh, Gulp to manage that and it's managing it separately. Style Sherpa is bringing the CSS in. If we click into, let's start with the template.html, uh, you'll see that this is, it's got its own uh, layout and web page. So you have all the stuff that goes in the head um, to display this and then we have some basic styles to create those um, code sections. And then we have our um, content. So this is where the header is and this is where you would change it to, you know, my company uh, and then put that company name there and then change the description, whatever you wanted. The sidebar uh, links are actually being automatically generated uh, using the style guide markdown generator. So I'm going to show you that in a moment, but um, just so you know how this works, it's using Panini, which is also built into the Zurb stack, to automatically create those uh, sections. So for each 
um, section that you create that has a link and a title, it's actually going to build those out automatically for you. So if we hop over to the index page, the index page is where your Markdown files are. So this is all written in Markdown. Um, now you can mix HTML with Markdown and that's totally fine. Um, but it's written in Markdown so it's really fast and easy for you to create this style guide. So you'll notice a couple formatting things. Uh, if you use an H1, which is the one hex code here, uh, this will actually create a main heading that um, is on the sidebar. These um, H2s uh, do not show up on the sidebar, so that's how uh, that is configured. Another thing you'll notice is that the three dashes that create the horizontal rule, or the HR, uh, these actually separate sections, and these are used to automatically uh, space out sections. So you wanna kinda match the spacing that's in here. Um, now this is Markdown, so uh, you can use the back ticks like this to wrap code, and it'll automatically parse the code out for you. It'll change these brackets to ampersand LT and ampersand GT and, and all the things that need to be done to, to parse code. An HTML example is created with um, by wrapping it with the three back ticks and then naming the language. So in this case, this is HTML, so we'll wrap it in HTML. If this was actually CSS, then we'll wrap it in uh, CSS. So you just want that in lowercase um, and then just put the language that is below it, or it could also be JS. And in this case, it's HTML. And what that'll do is print out the HTML. Now, there's another attribute that you could use. So this is done in two different ways. So right now you can see that this says HTML, and then this is the HTML that's shown on the page, and then this is the example below it. So if you need to modify the example below it, this is the setup that you would use. So I would say HTML over here, and then let's say, um, see how this has a custom class on it, display, and this is being used to create the, the grays that create the grid columns. So let's hop back over here so you can see what I'm talking about. So the basic HTML example looks like this, but obviously this, is not what's being displayed here. This one has the class of display on it. So uh, to separate those out so you can like control the presentational styles for your style guide, um, you just use the HTML example here and then any of your custom example code down below it, this will actually be rendered because it's not wrapped in the HTML um, you know, markdown code. So. Another way to do this is to actually use HTML underscore example. So if you do this, it'll print out uh, the HTML example in uh, pre and code tags, and it will also print out a preview. So let's go ahead and save that one and just show you. So this is the example for the small grid. I used HTML underscore example instead of creating two separate examples. So if we go down to the small grid, you can see that uh, now it's printing out exactly what is in the code above. So this is a quicker way to do the HTML um, examples. Uh, but if you need a custom display like this one obviously did, then you would use the other method where you separate them out. Uh, and that would look like this, where you have just the HTML above and then you have your custom example down below that maybe you've added some colors to uh, to make it look a little bit better. And then your color palette is set up here. So um, these are... Uh, automatically you know, pulled in from foundation so you could uh, set your colors up here. And typography and any other kind of containers that you set up in here, um, you can definitely do that using this Markdown parser. Uh, so this is a great place to describe what your classes do. As you could see here, 
Um, we're describing what some of the default foundation classes do, but if you are, um, had some custom components that you've written and they have modifier classes, then this would be a great place to, um, to document that so that new team members can see it and use the component correctly. And then they don't have to go hacking apart the existing code or maybe um, adding extra bloated code on top of it. So it's really gonna save you a lot and make your um, website more maintainable down the road. Now new sections are created with uh, four spaces in between. So you can see that there's a main header here and one, two, three, and then the fourth space up here. So um, that's at least three uh, vertical spaces between sections on the fourth line, then you start a new section. Uh, this spacing is important to get the formatting correct. So if you see some weird formatting stuff, make sure that you have those spaces between the major sections. So that's it for the style guide. There's um, a lot of benefits from creating a style guide and foundation really just makes that easier for you. So you could check out the style Sherpa documentation to see how to use that. And along with this video, you should be making style guides in no time. Now we teach this in our advanced foundation class. So if you want to learn foundation the quickest way, uh, make sure you check out uh, the advanced foundation class. I'll put the link below. And this is Rafi from the Zurb team signing off.